Welcome to the second episode of Bevy and Rust. I did want to introduce people to this concept that uh, is available and possible within Bevy. I've kind of been playing around with the framework and noticed something pretty awesome. They just released 0.10.0, like almost immediately after I released my last video. And with that release, they actually allowed for the next thing that I wanted to do. So the timing worked out pretty well. And what is that thing you might be asking? And that thing is clicking through windows. So before we had a situation where we were looking at, you know, manipulating particles on a window and you were able to see behind those particles or any kind of transparent areas within the so-called window that you had where your particles were forming. So that was pretty cool. The issue with that approach though, is that that window is still a valid window that takes all the mouse commands or like your mouse clicking and keyboard commands as well. It treats that window as the active window. If you click anywhere where that window is, even if it's transparent at that point, so you, you know, you might not even be able to know that there's a window there, but when you click in that area, it's activating that transparent window. It's, yeah, it's, it's not intuitive as to what's happening. So there is an additional thing you can now do in Bevy, like I mentioned in 0.10.0, where you can allow a window to be click throughable. What it allows you to do is to say, okay, you can have a window. Let's, um, as an example, we'll show this window here. We've got a window of ghosts. It's a transparent window. You can see behind the window. But if I click anywhere in that window, you can see it's reading mouse commands down in the console here, in the terminal. It's reading those mouse commands every time I click on the window. And I can't click on the text edit editor behind. So I can click up here, I can click the text editor, but I can't do it over here. I'm clicking this window with the ghosts. It just happens to be in the transparent area background of that window. If I press one of the keys that, that I've set to allow for that click through ability. Uh, you can see now that I can still see the screen. It's sitting on top of my other windows, but I can actually click through and edit things behind it. Um, and so that's a pretty cool thing. Clearly that allows for quite nice features. Um, just so happens to be the exact thing I want for my overlay, stream overlay application that I'm currently making. And uh, yeah, I mean, the effects are pretty cool. You can, you know, I'm working on this as, as it is. And I can see these guys floating around just like the stream viewers would see. I can see this text kind of coming through here, just as the stream viewers would be able to see. So it's not an additional window that I have kind of feeding into OBS. It's directly on my screen and I can do a desktop capture just like I would normally if, you know, I didn't have this overlay. It allows me to see the activity of the stream, exactly what the stream is seeing without me having to glance over to another window. So, uh, I mean, there's going to be some, you know, swings and roundabouts there. In some cases that might be quite distracting. But if you allow for it in, I think the way that it's allowed for here, it could be quite a, you know, if you get that balance right, it could be quite an interesting feature and application to use. And that's that's my objective with, uh, with what we're doing here. So as I mentioned, um, there are a few places that you might want to have a look at. In uh, the first place is always the bevy examples. So I've just got that bad boy, which moves things to the side there. And we can go and look in the BFA examples. If we go down to window, transparent window is the one we've looked at before. This allows your windows to be transparent and is relatively straightforward to um, set up. So I'd highly recommend just copy pasting this entire code into a Rust, um, a new Rust project, and then playing around with it. 
In terms of allowing for the click through ability, so I just had to go through a few of the folders to actually find it. I forgot where it was. If you click on UI in the examples, and you scroll down, there's this window fall through.rs. Effectively, if you just add this on to that transparent window example, this allows you to do uh, exactly what I just demonstrated. So I almost verbatim copied this, uh, copy pasted this code in, and then kind of started playing around with it. It required very little effort from there. I guess one needs to start understanding how the commands work within Bevy. If uh, this is all completely new to you, it does take a little bit of time to get used to, and I'm still very much you know new to this so i thought that was pretty cool hopefully that gives you a couple of um, very simple examples to launch your own version of of kind of what i'm doing here maybe something different maybe something more interesting even um have a go with it let me know if you come up with any exciting interesting projects yourselves uh in the comments below uh, in the meantime i'll link these two examples in uh, in the description of this video so you can have you can find them very easily but until the next video i'll see you guys later